Hey guys, my brother is going flying today, I'm giving him a ride to the airport, and uh, we're going to let you guys go for a ride with him. We're going to put the hero in the plane, if they let us. And then, uh, you'll get to see some of that. And then I'm going to go geocaching in Vacaville, and then, uh, that way I can bring my brother back home, or go to Philly. Yeah, we can when we're done flying, or when he's done flying, anyway. I'll probably film the takeoff, and then I'll go find some caches. So that's the plan for today. If you can find caches around the airport, you can probably film several landings too. Just recognize the plane. Yeah, if you're doing that, I can look at the tail number and you know see you flying around. But anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll probably be taking off towards Highway Five or Five Hundred Five. One to Reading Five, going north. We'll probably take off towards that. So if you're on the other side of the airport, you probably can see us land. Okay. All right. We'll see you later. We're here at the airport. It's a nice day. Oh yeah, no crosswind today. No wind, almost no clouds. And uh, yeah, so you guys are gonna get to go for a ride. <laughs> It'll be cool. I hope. There's a plane. N46252. That's the one. Let's see where you will sit. You'll probably be. You got a flat spot on the rear window. Yeah. You might. What? I don't know. Maybe on the rear window? We'll see. We'll see where you go. Get my key out. The hero is in the plane, recording already. They're doing pre-flight check and other stuff, and uh, they're getting ready to go soon. Then they're going to be taking off right out here. I'm going to watch them take off, and then start going to find some caches. Clear prop. Going down to the end of the runway. Hey, rabbit. Hopefully he gets up about where I am. He might go up earlier. Yep, he rotated. There he goes. There you guys go too. Alright. Going up. So he's going to fly over to Napa. Uh, navigating using the charts on his own. Reading the charts. You know, doing all that. So that's what he's doing. And then he's going to come back here, I think. Maybe even there, I don't know. And uh, practice stalls. So, how to recover from a stall, things like that. Um, there goes the other guy right behind him. Uh, and then he's also going to try the, uh, what are they called? I forget what they're called. Dutch rolls, where you purposely uncoordinate the turns of the plane. Which feels really weird, I would imagine.
Time to go caching. Found my first cache, it was right over there. And I came across these. Wild tomatoes. Kinda weird. Like the plants are dead, but the tomatoes are still green. So, I don't know how these started. I don't know if somebody just like had a burrito, or not a burrito, but like a, a burger. And doesn't like tomatoes and they just threw them in the grass. Now wild tomatoes are growing. This is their lucky day. They could have been eaten, but instead they had a chance to grow. Anyway, I thought it was weird. Look at my miles. One seven 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 miles. Yeah. That's a lot. Anyway. Let's go find some more. My truck is parked right up there. I don't know if I can even see it from here. But anyway, I was walking and I said I was within like 10 feet. And I just looked down and it's just right there. Not really hidden at all. It's just kind of weird that it's out in the open. So anyway, I found it though. side of the fence playing with each other that's kind of cool he just stayed there for me found a pretty big container so I'm gonna drop off all these trackables that I've been holding since I went to Reading. I've got the little cashkins thing going in. This one, this big one, go in there. I might have trouble fitting all these in there actually. Uh -huh. I'll read it. I'm just showing you which one is there. No wimps coin. The A and W coin. Elizabeth Chip. What's this guy? Forget. Commodore Pickering. Going in. Little flower coin. Mid mountain. Mountaineers coin. I think that's it. Oh. Utah. The Utah Shakespeare Festival. And I think that's it. Yes. That's all that goes in there. Going back to my truck. Tim should be landed by now. And then, so I gotta go back to the airport and get him. And then we're gonna go have some Philly cheese steaks. Cause they're so good. They may be happy for me.
There he is. That's him. Bacon cheesesteak with lettuce and tomatoes and extra cheese. Mm. Tim's still outside. Happy Constitution Day, Mexico. <laughs> Pinky's up like a lady. <laughs> to your hand like a lady. <laughs> She's eating her hands. Like a lady. So it's almost midnight. And I don't know what's going on. Wind advisory. It's a wind advisory now in effect until 7 p.m. Pacific Time Tuesday. 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 45 miles an hour. It's crazy. It wasn't windy at all when I left work, but now, I mean, look at this. You can probably hear the wind. You can't see anything, but... I don't know. I mean, you can see our, our tree is like up there, and there's pieces of our tree all over our front yard. My little sister thought it was a tornado. I don't think it's a tornado, but it, it's like super. I mean, you can just see pieces of my tree. And our garbage cans are knocked over. This is weird. thing to it's not flying now it'd be difficult to fly in anyway it's kind of exciting I guess All right, I'm on the uh, calm side of the house All right, I'm gonna I'm about this is gonna be terrible I'm gonna about to walk into the windy side here it goes no, it's not that much different it's just wind everywhere it's crazy And the door's locked. Alright. Time to go back in the inside. Yeah, it's time to go back inside.